health professionals recommends that you get eight full hours of sleep, which means I'm going back to sleep for six hours. This may all look like my hair, but it's a dog! Mia! Mia. <clears throat> so I guess I'm making my bed later. <laughs> Mia. So you guys caught me on a super busy day. I have to say goodbye to a friend at the Ronald McDonald House. I'm having my send-off party tomorrow, and I'm fulfilling a childhood dream. I call this the you tried calorie. It's my runner-up trophies from Miss Nebraska. I did win the mentor award two years in a row. I told them if I won it one more time, they were gonna have to name it after me, and I did not win it the third year. So we're headed to the Ronald McDonald House, but I just saw my Road to Miss USA video on Miss USA's Facebook, so go check it out right now. We just got to the Ronald McDonald House, which is a house where kids and their families can stay while they're being treated at the hospital, and we are going to say goodbye to my good friend here. Daniel. Hi. Hi, guys. How are you? We're here starting our crafts. What are you going to make? You love Play Doh. Me too. I love Play Doh too. Oh, good. It's little me. Okay, now we have to put some down here. Okay, I'm going to do this. What color do you want? What is this? Flower. Okay, I'm going to do this. Say, what's your name? Daniel. Daniel, and where are you? Omaha. Omaha. And I'm from Mississippi. Mississippi. You're from where? Mississippi. Say hi, Mrs. Mississippi, USA. <laughs> You're like, no way. That's a lot of S's, Mississippi. I thought it was a croissant. It's the closest to a croissant I'm going to get anytime soon. What? Oh, my God. Who is that? What are you doing? She's making a flower. You're making a flower. <laughs> Callie. See the string that goes all the way around there, baby? Oh, you have a good Hey, what are you doing? Oh, hey, what are you doing? Get out of the slide. Guys, we're in the slide, right? No, no, I see some over here. You do? are leaving the Ronald McDonald house and going to my dress fitting for my Miss USA dress. Hi, we are at the Winning Crown Boutique. They're the gown sponsor for Miss Nebraska and I have a fitting today for my Miss USA dress. I just tried on my dress at the winning crown, but what people don't know is Michelle is the owner. She is also very, very talented at makeup. So today she's teaching me a natural. You, you guys, Michelle has known me since the beginning of my pageant journey. We have lost a lot of pageants together. We've won one. So Michelle has known me the longest. Michelle, how would you describe me in two words? Resilient and super funny. So we're doing a no makeup makeup look, which really just utilizes your best features, which yours are gorgeous. My and hair and I. <laughs> right. 
Someone just asked me what my fitness routine is, and it's funny because I'm heading to the gym to work out right now. If you saw my Road to video, you will see I like to box. I go to an MMA gym here in Omaha. I also like to do bar and power plate. Matt, why don't you have a Sarah Holland shirt? Don't judge me. Fatima asked if I can sing. Technically, I can sing. Should I ever sing? Probably not. It's more like noise. So now I'm back home and I'm relaxing because I have a huge night tonight. It's gonna be good. I'll give you three clues. It involves me, my trainer, and a ring. Not a wedding ring. We're not ready for that yet. Isabel asked if I have ever taken dance lessons. So, Isabel, you be the judge. If I win Miss USA, will you get a tattoo of the Miss USA logo? Yes, I already said that. You did. You did say that like a that week ago. Yeah. Each 
together. It's raining. It's do pouring. It. It's like rain. <laughs> You're not gonna do it. On your wedding. I'm back home from WWE and that was so fun. I mean those people are seriously talented. I hope you guys thought it was as entertaining as I did. The very beautiful Becca Larson asked me who is my inspiration in life? Becca, the reason that I love to go to the Ronald McDonald House is because people like that inspire me. They have anything but perfect lives, but they're still fun and bright and vibrant. Anna, or Anna, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, asked me what made me start pageants. I'm very competitive, and as an adult, it gets harder to find things to compete in and to set goals and to reach them, so pageantry kind of became that for me. Carly asked, what has been my favorite moment as Miss Nebraska so far this year? There have been so many moments that I feel like I could answer this question with. Um, I've met amazing people and done some really cool things, but I think I know something very special. I had someone tell me that after watching my social media and keeping up with me, that I've changed the way he thinks about pageant girls and broken a stereotype for him, and that is exactly what I wanted to do. Some of the most amazing girls that I've ever met have been in pageants, and there is no way they should be confined to a stereotype or put into a box. I'm super bummed that this day is over and that I can't snap you guys anymore, but hopefully it's not the last time I log into this Miss USA account. I know I joke a lot, but I take my job as Miss Nebraska very seriously, and I want to do the most that I can for the most people while I can. But luckily, you can follow me on my personal Snapchat until I gain access to this one on June 6th. It's at S-E-H-X-N-2. Can you guys tell I'm absolutely putting off ending my Snapchat day? <laughs> okay, really signing off for the last time. I'm Miss Nebraska USA, Sarah Hollins. I'll see you on June 5th.